Okay, this is the model for the ventricles. If you look at the model real well, you see, kind of look at it sideways, and you see this beak here, and it looks like a bird's head. And think of these right here, these two things right here, as being wings. So this is the bird, this is the body of it here, and this would be the tail. Okay, so if you look at it from the front, it's always going to be flying going this direction here because that's the front part of the bird. So here you have the left side, so this over here would be the left ventricle. This here would be the right ventricle. The body of the bird is right there on the midline, see? So that's the third ventricle, and the fourth ventricle is right back here on the back. It's also on the midline. Let me rotate it around just a tad. Let me rotate it like this right here so that you see the right ventricle, the left ventricle. And you can see they're a lot larger than what they look like whenever we just say, oh, they're around the corpus callosum. So here's the right ventricle, here's the left ventricle. The third ventricle is on the midline, the fourth ventricle is on the midline. What was the name of the structure that connected the third and the fourth ventricle? That was the aqueduct of Sylvius. So this right here is the aqueduct of Sylvius. Okay, the choroid plexus. See the pink structures on the model? That's the choroid, that is the choroid plexus. The choroid plexus is made up of ependymal cells, and the ependymal cells secrete cerebrospinal fluid. That's one of your neuroglia cells. Okay, here's a structure here of the brain. This here is your central sulcus here. So as you see that this is your frontal lobe, this is your parietal lobe. The very back back here where the purple is, is the occipital lobe. And on this side here, you have the temporal lobe. This is the central sulcus, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. If you turn it over this direction, you can see this right here is the corpus callosum. The circular structure here is the thalamus. Then you have the brain stem, midbrain, pons where it gets wider, and medulla. Um, that's all that's on that model.